This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Kryptonite Evolution Series 4 Disk Lock. This is a lock that's designed to be placed through the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle, thus preventing someone from stealing it by either rolling it away or riding it away. Kryptonite's given this an 8 out of 10 security rating, and it's worth noting that there is only one other similarly sized lock in Kryptonite's lineup with a higher rating, and that is the New York Disc Lock. And since these two locks are so similar, it's worth taking a brief moment to see what makes the difference between a 9 out of 10 security rating and an 8 out of 10 security rating. So let's clear this aside. Now there's two main differences between these locks. The first is the thickness of the shackle. The New York disc lock has a 16 millimeter shackle, while the Evolution has a 14 millimeter shackle. Now both of those shackles are incredibly beefy and of a size that probably puts them beyond pretty much any pair of bolt cutters. Ne the next difference is the lock body. Now the New York lock has a round lock body, whereas the Evolution has an oval-shaped lock body. Kryptonite says that the oval shape makes this stronger than round lock bodies. However, the New York lock has another trick up its sleeve, and that is the fact that rather than having one pipe of hardened steel, as is the case with the Evolution, there are two pipes of hardened steel, one inside of the other. So this is a much more massive lock. If you're interested in seeing more about the New York disc lock, I featured that in video number 543. So I'm going to put it aside for now, and we are going to see what it takes to pick into this kryptonite evolution. Now the one interesting thing about this is that the core is set very, very deeply inside of this. Look how far that key fits. And that actually creates some pretty significant issues for picking this lock because the lock pick that I use to open the New York lock is probably the easiest to obtain and most common disc detainer pick out there. It's this one right here. However, this one doesn't come close to reaching the core in this evolution, even if we take this plastic plate off. So what I'm going to be using is a much more expensive and hard to get custom disc detainer lock pick that has a little bit more reach. But even with that extra reach, it still doesn't reach the core unless I take this little plastic dust cover off. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. This comes off very easily with a, I believe a 5 64th inch Allen wrench. Okay, and now that we have that off, the first step in picking this lock is to rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. Once we have them in position, I can take our pick, insert it, and try to pick up the first disc, actually the second disc, because the first one is a free-floating spinner. There we go. Okay, I have the tension in place. We tension off of disc one. So I'm looking for disc two now. And there we go. I think I just got a little click out of two. There we go. I think that was two falling into place. Let's look for number three now. Click out of three. Number four. Nice loud click out of four. Little click out of five. Click out of six. And a click out of seven. And that just opened this lock up. So it went right down the stack as far as binding order goes, 
and we got this open very, very quickly. As is the case with all the other kryptonite locks that I have tried, I did not feel any false gates in there. So let's take this apart a little bit more so you get a better idea of the construction. I'm not able to disassemble the core, and I'll show you why that is when we get it out. Okay, but here we can see the single steel pipe construction. And this pipe is very, very thick. It's gonna be a chore to get through with anything other than power tools. And we have our now opened core right here. And if you see, we can lock it back up and you can see that it prevents these little locking lugs from retracting. Let's push this core out. And if we look on the back, let me zoom in as far as I can. You can see there is a small snap ring in there that holds all of this together. And I have absolutely no idea how I could get that out. And even if I could, how I would get it back in. So I am not going to take the chance of disassembly here. Now the one major disappointment with this lock is the same as my disappointment with the New York locks. And that is that this inner structure is made out of plastic. Now, it's a very strong plastic and the locking mechanism is guarded from the side once you insert the shackle. So you can't come in through the side to, tackle, to attack the core. However, there is the potential for a melt attack. I'm not entirely sure if that will work. I am a little bit skeptical of that. But even so, you hate to see plastic in, even on a, uh, on a step down from the flagship, with, which is what we have here on the Evolution. In any case, that's all I have for you on this Kryptonite Evolution Series 4 disc lock. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.